Hall. Little Blessings Daycare is just a small hometown feel to it. Very warm. The first time I became aware of the scary mass incident was from another parent. She showed me one of the videos. I did see my daughter at the end of a table looking scared, terrified, crying, shaking. My initial reaction was horrified. My daughter was affected by the mask incident. We have had episodes at night where she would wake up crying, thinking this scary monster was gonna come in her window. There's been other incidences where she's telling her baby dolls, you've been bad, the scary monster's gonna come get you. I've known the owner, Miss Sheila, for about four years now. She's a very genuine person, very loving, and I am fully supportive of her because I know without a doubt that she had no knowledge of the incident. I do not believe that Miss Sheila did anything wrong. Sheila immediately upon finding out about the video, she fired all four parties involved. I feel like Miss Sheila is innocent. I do think people are out for a witch hunt. Well, joining us virtually is Kimberly. Kimberly, thank you for being here today. Hi, nice to be here. Do you think what they did uh, in terms of using the mask to, as a disciplinary tool to motivate the kids into behaving, which is what the ultimate explanation was from one of the women wearing the mask, do you think that was inappropriate? Uh, without a doubt, 100%. Uh, don't get me wrong when I say I'm in support of the owner. Uh, I absolutely in no way am in support of the individuals that were involved. Um, like I said, I was horrified, shocked, hurt, pissed off um, at the individuals involved. There should be consequences for their actions, 100%. Okay, and so if, if the owner is the owner of the business and therefore... Uh, in control of the business, does the hiring, does the training, does the supervision, then how does she have no responsibility for what happens in her place of business? Well, I feel like the blame has been misplaced. It's been a witch hunt as far as she's to blame, she should be shut down, she should lose everything she's worked for for 30 years. I mean, she did take responsibility. She immediately fired everyone involved. Um, she has offered and tried to find resources for the kids and the parents for uh, counseling that may be needed. Um, you know, what more do you want from her? What what more what could she do? She didn't know what was going on, so I, I don't blame her at all. Keegan, okay, Alyssa, what do you guys think about what Kimberly's saying? Well, I, I thought that they had cameras in there. What do you think should happen with regard to the owner and the daycare center? I don't think she should be allowed to open, reopen a daycare and put people in charge of watching over people's children because evidently she failed at that. I want to give someone like me a chance to redeem themselves or, you know, accept my apology. I bought those masks. My coworker, she's very easy to scare. Long story short, I bought the mask to scare her eventually, and they were used inappropriately. I didn't go in there with intentions to literally traumatize those children. But I will say this, what you guys didn't see was after I had left the room, I took it off and I came back into the classroom. I said, Cece got the monster, you know, monster. It's not coming back and they would hug me I am truly sorry to the whole Hamilton community. It wasn't meant to harm anybody. I know it seems the way that it does, but it wasn't meant to be that way. All I can do is focus on bettering myself because at the end of the day, we're all human and we all make mistakes. And I don't feel that it is right for me to be judged by one mistake that I made. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.